Farmer's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the different types of Avis moss that we have in store. So here are our five different types. I want to go through them individually. So this is the 200 watt. It takes two 18650 batteries. Just in there. So this mod is probably best for your sub ohm tank. So like a Valerian 2 or I would personally use an Odin tank. With it taking two batteries, your battery life will be a lot longer and it will go up to 200 watts. Most coils will not go up that high, so you'd probably be running it at about 100 to 110. So your battery life will be a lot longer where you're not using it up to 200. This is the Aegis Max. It goes up to 100 watts. It takes one 21700 battery, but you can also have the option to use an 18650 with the cover. With this mod, you can use pretty much any tank, but just to make sure you're using the right wattage to the coil. With this mod, I would recommend a Clio or a Clio 120 Pro. This one's a bit different. This one's a pod system. So this is the Boost Plus, a little bit different to the Boost because it takes one 18650 battery. It has a 2mm pod, but bigger pods are available. It goes up to 40 watts. Most people that use this use classic liquids or even Nixels. The airflow is bigger than the one on the Boost, so this will improve flavour and cloud. This is the Aegis Solo. It takes one 18650 battery and goes up to 100 watts. Me personally, I'd use a Tigong tank on it because with the right coil, you can use both classic and sub ohm liquids. This is the Aegis Mini. It's got no external battery, so it's all internal. So you plug it straight into charge. With an internal battery, I'd say charge only two to three hours, never overnight. It goes up to 80 watts, so this is perfect for your classic tanks. I use the Nautilus Mini. The coils for the Nautilus Mini go up to about 12 watts, so your battery life will be a lot longer where you're not using it nowhere near 80 watts. With the Nautilus Mini, I prefer to use the bird cage tank because it's metal, not glass, so it prevents it from breaking. With these taken external batteries, I suggest using a battery charger. It's more saving for your batteries and they'll less likely short circuit. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in store soon.